Thank you. I'm going to read from the title story, which involves author Jill Macklin, who has recently published a book coincidentally is called Late Breaking. To Jill's great surprise, it has been nominated for the terrifyingly prestigious Olympia Featherstone Award for Fiction, which I assure you is entirely fictional. <laughs> Jill cannot imagine suddenly having $500,000. She can't even understand what it would be for. Payment for having written late breaking? How could she be paid for such a thing? By the page? By the word? It doesn't even make sense on a simple level. She wrote a book. Dennis Little of Little Press, based in Stony Creek, published it. It got good reviews, all true. But she wrote five other books prior to late breaking, and they all got good reviews too. Critics routinely refer to her prose as transparent, and to herself as consistently underrated. According to one young reviewer who adopted her as a personal cause and ended up having a breakdown, she has been <laughs> tragically overlooked. She has never won a prize, never even been nominated for one. So why did she suddenly show up on the OFAF radar screen? The Olympia Featherstone Award for Fiction eschews all publicity until one month before presentation. Its vetting process is a secret, and the identity of its apparently high-profile judges something they themselves are contracted to take to the grave. Rumor even has it that there are no judges, that the reclusive Olympia Featherstone vets the candidates herself and either chooses the winner, or if she decides that no book meets her ever-evolving standards, withholds the prize money for another year. Something called the Olympia Effect has been identified. It attacks authors like a psychological virus. It could be the month of constant travel and performance, or the faceless judging process, or the knowledge that at the end of it all, you will either have more money than most people ever see, or nothing. <laughs> Whatever the reason, nominees have been known to quit their day jobs in a manner that makes it impossible to come crawling back. <laughs> Abandon their spouses, drop their friends, and in one case, enter a monastery. <laughs> the most common reaction for winners as well as losers is to stop writing. But for all that, whether because of the prestige or the size of the purse, no one has ever turned down a nomination for the Olympia Featherstone Award for Fiction. Thank you very much. <laughs>